When you look up, the signs are everywhere. Breathe freely, you're on a smoke-free campus. But when you look down, it's a different story. I'm here in front of the Richter Library, one of the smokiest places on this smoke-free campus. Everybody smokes here, everybody. With no ashtrays for students, cigarette butts litter the ground. Now that there's no ashtrays, people are still gonna smoke, but they just don't have anywhere to put their cigarettes. Students can be fined for smoking or vaping anywhere on campus, a policy some feel is ineffective at stopping smoking. Well, when we had the smoking sections, you know, at least we all congregated in certain areas to respect it for the people who didn't like it. But now, you know, in the middle of an exam or while we're studying, we just don't care. We'll go to the front of the library, we'll go behind the library, you know, just anywhere we can. Most of the smokers I talked to prefer the old policy, one with designated smoking areas. There's a lot of people that smoke and, like, maybe if they just had, like, designated smoking areas. If there were designated areas, I think most of us would respect it. Of course smokers want their place to pop. But what about the rest of us? This is Zach. He's allergic to cigarette smoke, and it affects him every day. When I'm walking to class, to, to Dooley, I usually try to avoid the library and go around maybe by Cox. Just people congregate out there and smoke, and is, it's not really enforced. But what can you do to help people like Zach? To figure that out, I sat down with Muhammad Assad, a UM tobacco treatment specialist. It's part of the U family and every member of the U to see, if you do see of any individual, of course, kindly go up to them and tell them, hey, you know, it's a smoke-free campus, smoke-free policy, anything, you know, smokeless tobacco as well as electronic cigarettes are prohibited. But better enforcement of the rules may not be enough. Tobacco is addicting, and smokers are determined to get their fix. We're still going to do it, whether it's allowed or not allowed. Reporting for TMH-TV, I'm Ari Mont.